Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations convertible to quadratic equations. So let's take one example. Suppose we have, um, say, x plus 8 over x minus 2 equals 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. So as you can see, this equation does not follow the standard form of a quadratic equations. However, some equations can actually be converted to quadratic equations. Well, this is, is an example of a rational equation, but we will find a way to change this into a quadratic equation. So how are we going to do that? First, the idea is, well, definitely you have to eliminate the denominators, where in this case, both of them are x minus 2. Sometimes, you can have different denominators, but in this example, we only have one. So how do we eliminate the denominator x minus 2? So the idea is, you have to multiply both sides of the equations of the equation rather by an expression that can eliminate x minus 2 and there's no other expression that can eliminate x minus 2 than itself so we choose to multiply both sides by x minus 2 okay then from here you have to follow the proper um, distribution of the expression by the distributive property so we first distribute x minus 2 to x and regardless of the order you can have x times x minus 2 or x minus 2 times x and then the 8 over x minus 2 will be multiplied by x minus 2 and what you have to do on the other side is just the same the 1 gets an x minus 2 while the 4x over x minus 2 will get also an x minus 2 okay and then from here you simplify again by distribution this is x squared minus 2x now note how the x minus 2 and x minus 2 will cancel and that gives you a plus 8 on the other side, 1 times x minus 2 is also x minus 2. And you also cancel x minus 2 and x minus 2. So that gives you 4x. And then continue simplifying your equation. x squared minus 2x plus 8. If I subtract, or you can actually first simplify the right side. So this is 5x minus 2. And then continue. This will be x squared minus 2x plus 8. This should be equivalent to minus 5x. Or the, the previous one is equivalent to x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so there are some steps that I will not show you anymore. Like how, why is it we, that we have minus 5x and plus 2? Well, is apply the proper way of um, adding and subtracting expressions on both sides to maintain the 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 two sides to be equal or maintain the the equality okay so to preserve the equality okay but some people will just say transpose minus 5x and plus 2 okay but the idea is just continue solving the equation by making the other side equal to zero and then from here so we can see that there is an x squared, minus 2x minus 5x will become minus 7x, 8 and 2 will become 10, so equal to 0. And so from here, all we have to do is to factor it, or factor the left side, x and x for x squared, I can have 5 and 2 for 10, 5 and 2 because I know that the sum of 5 and 2 is 7, and then this should be negative or minus 5 and then minus 2. And we can say x minus 5 maybe is 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. 
and that leads us to x equals 5 and x equals 2 okay now if we were just solving x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0 then we could say that the answer is the solutions are x equals 5 and x equals 2 now you have to be careful when you're working with equations other forms of equations especially for rational equations because not all x that you will get are allowed in the given equation if you take a look at the at the denominator there is a number that is not allowed in the denominator or there, there, there is an x rather that is not allowed to be substituted in x because the denominator will become zero and the moment the denominator becomes zero we know that a fraction cannot exist or the value of 8 over x minus 2 does not exist okay so we can accept any x except for the number that make that can make this that zero that x minus 2 to be zero and that is x equals 2 so when when you solve equations like this so even if you get two values of x you you always go back to the given equation the very first equation the one that you are solving okay you have to check are the x that you obtain um, will they be or will will they make the the function or the, the equation defined okay are they allowed in the equation is is the x value allowed in the equation and we can see that x equals to cannot be an a solution okay so we will conclude that the only solution for this equation is x equals 5 so this is the solution okay so this x equals 2 is actually called extraneous solution okay because extraneous because we it seems like it is a solution however because we we need to consider the the very first equation that we were solving and there are some restrictions uh, x cannot be equal to 2 so we cannot accept x equals 2 okay so let's summarize the steps so again focus on the denominators you have to multiply the equation both sides of the equation by an expression or a set of expressions that can eliminate x minus 2 okay or the denominator in general again this is just an ex this is an example in in which there is a single expression okay or a group of expression that can eliminate the denominator which is x minus 2 sometimes you have x minus 2 together with x minus 4 or x plus 3 and so on okay if that is the case then you have to multiply the equation by those set of expressions okay so from there make sure you apply distributive property properly and as you can see here so you should distribute properly the x minus 2 and in each term in every term and then after that just simplify sometimes you have to distribute sometimes you have to cancel so cancel distribute 1 x minus 2 and so on the equation will be reduced afterwards okay. and then just continue until you get something like an expression equal to zero okay so the moment you you reach this part of the equation you try to factor the left side hopefully it will be easy to to factor the expression and from there you will see or you will see the values of x that are needed okay so finally always check whether the solutions that you will get are actually uh, the correct solution sometimes the solution is an extraneous solution meaning that x is not allowed in the equation in the first place and we found or we have seen that in this example that x cannot be equal to 2 while x equals 5 is an acceptable value okay so I hope you learn from this video um, if you have any questions just uh, comment okay on on the video Okay, so you can just write your comments there. Okay, that's it.